Hello, Internet people. I am totally not recording a second one today uh, of more 2018 WWE cards. Uh, so the last one I did uh, was the Then Now Forever. Uh, it's my understanding that these cards from Walmart, which is just the regular 2018 cards, uh, they form a combined set with those. So there's... Because... Uh, um, I didn't really go through it, but if you saw the first time I did the Then Now Forever for 2018, those were numbered uh, starting at 100. It's my understanding that these ones uh, should start uh, from zero and go up to 100. Um, so let's uh, see what's in this box. Yep, and they do. So it's like here's, let's see. So here's Pete Dunn, and you can see he's numbered 74. So this set leads into if if you're watching these in order, uh, go in with the last set. So here's let's see, uh, Sam Deville, and Big E, the Brian Kendrick, uh, and then oops, it's my understanding that should be a gold parallel of uh, Roderick Strong and then what are th these are evolution uh, is a subset so I guess uh, oh I imagine so there's uh, if I got more of them so there's Kurt Angle in 1999 I assume he would evolve into something like here's look there's uh, a 2017 John Cena so I assume that that's what that set does Let's see here. Let's see how many of these people still work for WWE. Uh, Cedric Alexander, I, I believe so. Yes, maybe. Uh, Booker T. Yeah, he still does pre-shows. Uh, Alicia Fox. Uh, nope, she's an alcoholic, I believe. Uh, Greg Hamilton. Yes. Oh. Look who no longer works in the WWE. It's Mr. McMahon. Like, oh, yeah, here's... Oh. Is, that, is, is, is he even working in WCW in that picture in 1993? I, I can't legitimately answer that. And then here's an old school um, Randy Orton. Tony Chimmel, no longer works in WWE. Although I always let him, he goes, the rated R superstar. Oh, I don't have the lung. <coughs> I don't have the lung capacity I used to. When I, when I used to go to wrestling events, I, I used to be known as the boo guy. Because so I would just go, boo! I, that I can hold relatively long. Uh, and I would hold that, like, literally boo for like 20, 30 seconds at a time on one bre breath. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's go. There's a, a Zack Ryder and Jerry the King Lawler. Up oh, and here's Daniel Bryan when he was the general manager of SmackDown. And here's uh, Nigel McGuinness. Oh, Does he work for NXT UK anymore? I, he might not be employed there anymore. And look, here's a Doctor of Thugonomics, John Cena. Uh, my least favorite John Cena. And here's 2017 Brock Lesnar. That's Suplex City, bitch! Which, uh, so this is like, at least as I'm recording this, a week after SummerSlam. Um, how cool would it have been if rather than just lift up the ring with that tractor, if he had somehow managed to legitimately fucking flip that? I don't know how you could do that safely. Uh, I'd not, it, like, hit the first couple rows. But if he could have legitimately done more damage or, like, folded it in half or or just done more damage with it, I think it would have been much cooler. Although it must have sucked to be one of those people, like, who had, you know, row one, entrance side, right there at the railing, uh, off the entrance ramp, and then literally for the rest of the night you're just staring at the underside of the ring. Although you, you could see, you know, into, into where Kane and Hornswoggle live. So I guess that's cool. 
Uh, but here's uh, AJ Styles and uh, Mike Mike Rome. And oh god, they must have printed this set during like the two weeks that Percy Watson was back. Because I'm pretty sure he came back, said something thoroughly offensive, and got fired within like a week. So that's interesting. Um, so here's Rhino. And then, oop. So I guess uh, the Hall of Fame set is Ultimate Warrior. So uh, he defeats the Heenan family at Survivor Series 89. I just, um, bump, bum, 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 All right. And then, oh, here's, here's the uh, Olympian um, American Dream, uh, Mark Henry. And here's 2003 Kane. Was that, was he speaking at that point yet? Uh, that was, um right after I stopped watching the first time. So, probably. Here's Jay Uso. Remember when the Usos were happy-go-lucky and they wore the face paint and they did all that? Um, and, like, they were relegated to the pre-show and now they're unified tag team champions. Okay. Here's uh, Drew McIntyre. And uh, then... I'll show you this. Uh... Actually, I have never seen that woman before in my life. And I'm fairly sure that that's the name of a porn star. But, okay, so sure, they say Christy St. Cloud was a background interviewer for NXT. Sure she was. All right, so then here's uh, Bo Dallas. Uh, and, and the parallel Mickey James. And then, ugh, here's Triple H's Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Uh, and way old school Undertaker, like back, um, that's probably him at the first, uh, Survivor Series, when he, like, entered as, like, um, an American patriot, and uh, he opened up the trench coat, and it had an American flag in it, and he was on Team Ted DiBiase, right? I think? Oh, oh Jesus. So here's Rizar, no longer works there. And a Sunil Singh, remember him with the Bollywood boys? Oh, Jesus. So here's Triple H. And then Selena Vega, uh, came, uh, you know, got fired, uh, then came back, and then immediately one Queen of the Ring hurt herself and has been not been seen in weeks. And Naomi, and who even knows what's going on with that at the moment? Uh, and then so here's... 20, 2017 Daniel Bryan champion of the planet um, and, and 2017 Booker T with a shucky ducky quack quack and was was Ari Davari in, in, in uh, the NXT Cruiserweight Classic, I guess. Okay, right. so here's... Well, he's not labeled as a 205 Live. Like, uh, well, uh, uh, Karen Tazawa, who was clearly 205 Live, is labeled Raw, but okay. Um, so then here's uh, Mike Canales, uh, which is still hilarious that he goes by his wife's last name because everyone knows her and not him. Um, but Nia Jax... Although I've I've heard rumblings uh, that uh, that uh, the Canaleses are open to coming back uh, now with Triple H in charge, uh, so I would certainly love to, that and uh, to get the resolution of uh, who the father of her baby was, because uh, that got dangled. Uh, so then Mark Henry and oh okay now that makes this nice. So seven so there's there's Gold Dust when he had that weird ass gimmick for. However long he had it. And then here's Lita as an announcer. And then Kyrie Sane. I still can't believe that, that uh, they let her go before they did WrestleMania at Tampa Bay. Uh, which had... The giant pirate ship in it, and if if there wasn't a uh, you know a spot of Kyrie doing an elbow drop 
off the Tampa Bay Buccaneers fucking pirate ship. What are we even doing here? Because uh, that would have been amazing. But uh, So here's Amber Moon. And then, hey, remember Curtis Axel? Now he's a producer and he runs in from time to time. And he's always like, hey, that's Curtis Axel. Just like, uh, it's, it's also, hey, it's Jamie Noble from Eminem from, uh, Security. So here's uh, Cheryl Flair. And then, oh, here's the uh, COO Triple H. Who is now CEO Triple H, I guess, right? Is he is he new letters now? Uh, and there's uh, Undertaker in, what, when was that? A 1998. So still pretty American badass. And oh yeah, uh, so Paul Ellering. And then is I hate this, uh, but is 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 that the other Singh brother? I I wasn't paying enough attention that I can tell him apart. And oh, t superstar Titus O'Deal. I don't. He hasn't wrestled. Um, well. I don't, I don't watch, you know, main event or whatnot, but he hasn't wrestled an actual televised match since that time he almost died just sliding underneath the Greatest Royal Rumble. Uh, so here's a Tyler Bate and a Drew Gulak. And then, oh, here's a 1993 pudgy uh, Jim Lawler, a Mankind. Here's Andrade Cien Almas, and then Jimmy Uso, and ugh, my god, do I miss more right now and those early days of, of NXT, the early NXT. I, I, I don't like NXT 2.0, I, I just don't. Although I do like Mandy Rose as champion, uh, and uh, as I said last time, Katana Chance, or, or Casey Canzaro as a tag team champion, I appreciate that. I, I don't... Uh, See her in the tag team she's in with with uh, with Caden Carter. I don't think Caden Carter is all that good, but I enjoy Casey. Uh, and say hi to Molly and her her, uh, her new jacket. It's blue now. Um, but yeah. But but uh, yeah. The Wade Barrett is no Moro Ronaldo. Uh, so then there's an Natalia, and then. Oh fuck! Remember, remember when that was a thing. Well, there was the grand finale match at Survivor Series where they'd hold the four Survivor Series matches and then they would put the survivors of those Survivor Series matches together in the teams and then there would be the ultimate grand survivor of who, who won from all the previous matches. Well, Ultimate Warrior won one of them. Uh, so that was a thing. So then here's a GI Bro. And then... Uh, oh, gee, that is a horrible look for gold dust, but there you go. So there's that. And then, um, all right, let's open our relic card. And oh, not only is it a relic, it also has a Shawn Michaels uh, defeats the Undertaker in the first Hell in a Cell match. Sure. And then, ugh, what is it with sanity? I've, but, uh, so there we go. There's uh, one of Alexander's Wolf shirts. Sure. I guess. I don't know. So, yeah. More stuff from 2018. Uh, not the greatest. At least it's not another Matt Relic. Uh, but, yeah. Next. I don't know. So, uh, stay tuned and find out. Because I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the post office brings. Till then. Thanks for watching.